the national anthem of the country their parents fled in fear. The country most of these children have no memory of. Raised in this refugee camp in Bangladesh, they don't get the same lessons as locals. Taught the Myanmar curriculum because authorities want them to return there. Struggling to find stability. Theirs is a lost generation. Rohingya Muslims living in limbo. Their parents fled persecution only to be handed a life of destitution. It's been five years since Khadija Begum witnessed unimaginable atrocities in her village. It took her days to walk here. A life now consigned to these camps. She's forced to rely on basic rations to feed her young boys. Five years ago, the Myanmar military entered our houses and tortured us. We came here to stay alive. Now, I can't feed my children properly or give them nice clothes or medicines. We are in a bad situation. It was in August 2017 that hundreds of thousands of Rohingyas crossed the border from Myanmar, escaping a deadly crackdown by the country's military. Carrying whatever they could, they fled to neighbouring Bangladesh. Five years on, and many of the refugees have made their way here to India, home to tens of thousands of Rohingya Muslims living in squalid conditions. Many say they don't feel welcome here either. India's government describes them as illegal foreigners. It says should be deported. For years, Rohingya Muslims have led a basic existence in India. Last week, a minister said they'd be moved from these makeshift camps and given housing. Hours later, the Hindu nationalist BJP government denied the offer, threatening to move people to detention centres. It's left families like Rehman's feeling helpless. For his four-year-old daughter, Yasmin, unending uncertainty. Rehman wishes he could give her a better life. The Indian government doesn't want us. I would rather they killed us than send us back. It feels like no one cares about Rohingyas these days. We are like old furniture in a house, kept in a corner and forgotten. And for these refugees, the hope of returning to Myanmar never fades. But with the military who attacked their families, now in charge of the country, it's still not safe. What no one can tell these Rohingya children is when they'll be able to go home. Regini Vaidyanathan, BBC News, Delhi.